Uh, I'm really excited. You know, it's great to be back. See, uh, you know, some old faces and some new faces. Uh, I'm just happy to be here. Anything you did when you came back to the mound? Had a good time? Um, yeah, I went to Insomnia, got some cookies. Um, you know, I just, you know, saw some people that, uh, you know, I haven't seen in a while, visited some friends, and, uh, you know, saw the coaching staff, spent some time with them, and uh, that's mostly it. How's the health coming along? Uh, good. You know, I feel great. Um, you know, uh, pro is, I'm going through a progress each and every day, and uh, I'm just trying to get better and better each day. But I feel, you know, I feel great. I feel 100. percent I'm just trying to strengthen and, you know, just keep on working. When do you, when do you have any idea, Mike? When you might be doing any kind of contact drills, or you're maybe able to get more into it more right now? Um, I'm not sure. You know, as of right now, I can't do any contact drills. Um, you know, I know as soon as I get cleared by the doctor, I'm not sure when that exact date is. As you get ready for year two, what did you kind of learn from year one, you know, to kind of help you or, you know, what kinds of things do you want to accomplish this year? Um, I've learned a lot. You know, I've made some adjustments in my game, um, some habits on and off the court. And, um, you know, going into year two, I want to, you know, get better at um, those habits and, you know, just keep, you know, working on my game and um, just be more aggressive and, and be more of a leader out there. And what's it like for you and Jeremy to be back on the court together? Uh, it's great, um, you know, to be back on the court with Jeremy again is, you know, I'm real fortunate and real lucky. So um, I'm happy he's on the team, not only as a friend, but as a teammate. Mike, how much fun did you have last year while you were playing? I mean, when did it start and like, how much did it take away from um, it? You know, I had, you know, it was, it was painful. Um, you know, I, in, in times during the game and during practice, I would really feel it. Um, you know, I, I can't really give you a number on how sore it was because sometimes it would be sore than others. So, um, but, you know, I was playing through a lot of pain. Michael, what kind of memories come back to you when you step inside the dome, step here in the locker room? Does all kind of come rushing back to you? Um, yeah, you know, we had a lot of great memories here and, you know, two great years here. You know, played with a lot of great players and um, just had so many great wins here. So, you know, it's, it's definitely emotional and it's, it's great to be back here. How much snack have you been talking to our teammates about how great it is to see your A lot. Um, you know, I tell them it's the best school in the country all the time. Any of the guys ask you what it's like to play in this dome like this? Yeah, um, you know, they ask me, you know, how is it? How is it having the fans there each and every night? And, um, you know, it's, you know, I try to explain it, but it's pretty unexplainable until you actually go. Is there any one specific uh, memory that stands out for you? Um, that's a great question. Um, you know, when we broke the record for, uh, you know, fan attendance and, and when we played Nova and we won, um, that was uh, that was great. Mike, how much have your leadership skills uh, improved since you've been drafted? You're a floor leader of a team with a lot of inexperienced players, and um, how do you keep them? You know, how do you keep the chemistry going? Um, you know, I try to be more of a leader. Someone I talk to a coach about, and we got a young team, and um, you know, I think that's my you know job on the court and off the court is being a leader on this team. And, uh, you know, I, ch I work on it every day. I learn from other people. You know, I take advice from, you know, people that have gone through it. And, um, you know, I just try to apply it. So who do you stop by the mail for us today? Who did you hang out with and who did you talk to? And um, you know, I hung out with, you know, G-Mac and, and Coach Hop and Coach Autry. I said it's up to Bayheim and, um, you know, just everyone in the office. BD, you got a question, BD? Yeah. Uh, who's, who's your favorite teammate? <laughs> um, of all time or on the Sixers? Uh, current squad. Uh, current squad, um, not you. I'm just <laughs> I was just joking. I was just joking. I was just joking. Why are you talking to my interview? I know. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the group. <laughs>